okay so i think i'm just gonna start the video here hey everybody and welcome to my youtube channel <laughs> today we're doing a really 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 fun video i haven't done a sit down video mm, yeah not actually i have but anyway i wanted to do another sit down video because i feel like sit down videos are where we actually get to you know really connect on like a deeper level as opposed to me just sharing my life i want to come here and like talk to you guys have fun with you guys about life in general so basically the game is called truth or drink if you haven't yet you know figured that out it is basically a game where you either say the truth about a certain question it's actually a like a legit game like it's on i think there's some cards for it as i mentioned early in the previous video and there's also like an online site where you can go and like download the whole like you know game and like look through the questions and everything but for me i think i'm gonna call mine truth or sip wine because recently the only thing i've been drinking re really is wine that's like my best choice of alcohol truth or drink or sip some wine truth or sip some wine and i'm going to also be talking about the wine so most of the wines that i usually buy or not all are from the wine shop the wine shop kenya i think i mentioned this in my last vlog i was there actually I'm such a fan of that place honestly i am such a fan of that place but yeah i usually also buy a lot of wine from there because first of all since i'm close to where they're located they don't even charge me for transport second of all they have some of the best wine in nairobi third of all their prices are not as crazy as some of the places you'll find in nairobi to buy wine it's still crazy for me because i've lived in cape town where wine was like pretty cheap not pretty cheap very cheap but here at the wine shop it's like your paying for like value where as opposed to some other supermarkets or places you go and buy wine in kenya it's expensive and it's shitty wine so at least here it's a bit you know also we're going to be reviewing the wine so i think i'm gonna start by reviewing the wine before we jump into the questions um because i want to start talking more about wine on my channel like wine is such a passion of mine like i really i'm so into wines learning about wine drinking wine exploring wine vineyards like it's such a big part of like i really treasure <laughs> the whole art of wine or like really respect the whole art of wine rather and yeah i also just want to share that part of my life with you guys so there we go so if you guys are ever thinking about buying a specific wine and you want to know if this wine is legit or not the app that you guys need to check out is Vivino, Vivino, V I V I N O, and they basically uh, kind of have like a ratings of and with comments of wines from all around the world. So a lot of wine enthusiasts go there to like either check out if a wine is good or give their reviews about certain wines. So yeah, they're asking me if I should sign in, but I think I already have an account. But this is a new phone. Okay, give me a moment. I'll be back okay so i've set up my vivino account i actually just had to like i forgot my password so log in again and change my password and everything but so now i logged in so before i actually search for the one i'm gonna give you my review so this is the condor peak wine yeah so it's the condor peak red dry i've tried a lot of the condor peaks before because uh first of all i bought this one from the wine shop i think i've mentioned that but the wine shop has a, like i think the whole condor peak range this is a wine from argentina and i remember last year they had so many specials for this wine during like you know covid and everything like these to sell like cases of three and cases of six for a crazy amount rather cases of six and three bottles for like a crazy amount like very cheap so that a lot of times i would go there and buy like three bottles and leave with spending only like i think 2k 2000 kenya shillings which for me that's quite affordable especially in this nairobi so this wine cost me 1300 1295 Currently, this is one of the cheapest wines that the wine shop has because they've actually increased their prices when it comes to the wines that they offer. And if you even compare the wine shop to a lot of other like premium or really good wine shops in Kenya or in Nairobi, like Wine Life Kenya or Shres Sonia, the wine shop is still the most recent, um, the most affordably priced. It's like still the most 
I still prefer the prices of the wine shop even compared to those other places. So even with them increasing their prices, I'm not going to another, you know, supplier. I'm still sticking there. <laughs> but anyway, so it's 1,295, 1,200 Kenya shillings. And alcohol percentage is 12.5%. The, this one is called a dry red dry it's not like a mellow or a carbonate sauvignon even if i've tried the red i've also tried the white this one for some reason is just red dry um okay so my thoughts about the wine it's very dry so if you guys know how dry red wine tastes it's quite dry it's fruity you're definitely gonna get some fruity like tastes um it's also quite smooth so it's fruity but it's not too tangy like it goes down well but there's still like a bitter aftertaste so i wouldn't say like the direct taste to your tongue is tangy or bitter but there's like a bit of like a bitter aftertaste but it's smooth so you don't really feel it much you just kind of feel like you're drinking like a dry red wine um i don't feel like it's that strong to me even if it's 12.5 percent usually with some it's not that full i think i would i should say it's not that full bodied because for other wines that i have tried that are dry reds which are really 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 good like the really really expensive ones that are really full bodied so even from your first sip or from your first glass you're feeling that heaviness of the wine in your tummy you're feeling like mm that one is getting to me you know you're feeling it like you i don't know how to explain it but you kind of it, it rushes to your head this is not like that uh what year was it made um it's not written the year that it was made i think they should write the year that's like something really important to write on wines I actually had filled this glass until here but i've been sipping and the wine is not much left so let me just fill the glass Without further ado, <laughs> it is only like, mm. yeah, definitely fruity with a bitter aftertaste. Actually, let me see what the back said. So the back said, oh, it displays a ruby red color with violet hues. It has remarkable fruity aromas i was right but the fruity aromas it's a young and gentle wine meaning that it's smooth that's true it's actually it's meaning that it's also probably a young wine because no older wines are the more full-bodied wines they're the ones that you take a sip and you're feeling like whoa god damn it which wine is that um it's surrounded with red fruit flavors so for me i would say this is quite a, quite an affordable wine to drink on the, it's the on the more affordable side but it's still this brand is still a really really good brand of wine in my opinion if you're on a budget and if you still want good wine on a budget you know not cheap wine good wine on a budget uh, apparently it's ideal to combine with red meat sauces and pasta which i think is normal for a lot of red wines okay now let me go to vivino vivino is a bit more hectic so they might not be as nice as i was but let me check condor peak dry no they said red dry so you see here i'm seeing they have condor peak malbec condor peak sauvignon condor peak uh, sauvignon blanc that's a good one condor peak melon that's a good one oh so yeah i searched condor peak and then all of those ones came up the one that i'm interested in reviewing or looking at the reviews is this second one so it brings it up I'm sorry for the um, reflection of the ring light the rating is not that good. <laughs> the rating is not that good the rating is not that good it's not too low but it's not that good so the rating is 3.2 for Vivino that's they just said that's about average this is an averagely this is an average one and i think i would say the same i wouldn't put it as one of my best but i wouldn't also put it as one of my worst wines it's just very it's a very average drink and i think the reason i chose it today was because also i was on a budget and i just wanted a simple drink you know where i can i'm not getting too late as well so yeah um let's see it's popular among Vivino users. It has more than 1,500 ratings. It's red cherry, red fruit. I was right. It has a bit of, yeah, a lot of people are talking about the red um, cherries, the dried fruits. 
oh so this is actually a blend i think it's a blend of some of their reds some someone said that they found their malbec a joke but this blend has something going on okay it has some good reviews but you guys should definitely check out the app check out vivino it has a 3.2 rating on vivino which is just completely average <laughs> so yeah i think we've already like this intro has been long enough so we can jump into into the truth or sip some wine <laughs> okay so let us start with the juicy part of this video which i feel like is the questions um yes i have the questions here on my phone these are pg questions i want i want some non-pg questions <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do like two questions from pg two questions from pg 13 and then some you know like overage questions because i've just seen some and i'm like whoa so i'll just do like the first two i'm not gonna go and pick through i'll just do i'll pick the first two of each category so for number one for these are pg questions for truth or drink number one is what is your most shallow reason for not going on a second date the most sh my most shallow reason for not going on a second date most shallow i feel like i've gone on very many like first dates and not gone on the second date so does that mean i'm a shallow person because sometimes you know you just get the vibes on the first date and you're just like no it's not for me i think i would probably say i would i would give the example of my worst dates actually we played this we played a game last weekend i think i mentioned it in my previous vlog i played a game with like some of my friends who i met and the one of the questions that i picked to answer from like you know the group was like what was my worst date and i shared my worst it was a broker's <laughs> It was probably a broker's because I can't even remember. I've been on so many dates. It was probably a broker's, or and I think that's a shallow reason. Maybe like I know that my worst date is when he made me pay the whole fucking date, which was an expensive. That was just my worst. Um, or just his looks were not appealing. Or he had stinky breath. I think I've been on a date with someone with stinky breath, and I was just like, uh, uh, never again. So yeah, moving on. What's the worst date I've ever had? That's question number two. <laughs> okay, so let me show it here. Yeah. The worst date I've ever had. Ah, uh, this was December of 2019, which was one of the most latest months, if not the latest ever month of my whole like living being. It's like God knew that you're going back to Kenya, you're going back to a pandemic, you're going back to what? So you just have one more month to just let loose because honestly guys i went crazy that's that month oh my god i went so crazy i'm trying not to cuss but i remember even my friend um ivy majimbo ivy majimbo hey girl she flew in from kenya to visit me that month and then i was also like living in sea point that's like a really good part of cape town but i was also planning to move out i remember i was also waiting for joanna to come and visit me because we had planned this whole trip to lagos and she's gonna come to cape town first and also sam was staying with me sam is samantha samantha is one of my really good friends from cape town as well and i, I was just wilding out i was wilding out during that during that month and uh one of the dates i i think i was also dealing with a breakup funny enough that was like my ex ex not this ex the last ex and i was now on tinder and everything and i met this guy he was like a british guy older and he'd asked me out on a date it was the same day that my friend ivy was flying in so i told him i'm gonna be busy busy to be the guy busy with my friend ivy and we're going to be going on like you know a dinner and like out and i just want to show cape town to her because i think that was her first time in cape town and i really wanted to so anyway so i was saying so the guy told me to like come with my friend ivy and then I also came with Samantha as well for the date. This guy took us to like a really fancy place, like super, super expensive. Um, made us order for stuff and kept pushing us to order. You know, we kind of assumed that he was going to pay. Because even after I had declined the date and told him I'm going to be busy with my friends, he still insisted I come with them and took us to a really expensive place of his choice and kept pushing us to order. So at the end of the day, you'd expect this nigga is going to be the one to pay because... I, 
I didn't even plan on coming anyway. I wouldn't have chosen that specific place. The bill comes and this nigga refuses to fucking pay. So I had to fucking pay that whole bill. Sorry to cuss. And I just remember every and Samantha. Like I, I, you know, I talked some shit to him. I was just like. Just know that the guy walked, walked home with like his tail between his legs. Because honestly. And I think he was like in his 40s. Ask us in our early Mother early 20s man i'm not paying your bill because you can't you've seen the bill and you said it's too much for you so it, i have to now sort it out for everyone on the table this time i'm planning the money i have a i had a lot of cash on me fine but that money had been saved up to go to to travel to lagos you know so the whole of december i was literally like i had a lot of money which had saved up from the past few months anyway i think that dinner cost me almost like a thousand rand <laughs> Which is almost like ten thousand shillings, but it's okay. We move, we move, we move. And in Cape Town, that's actually a lot because I feel like in Nairobi you can easily spend ten thousand um, on like a going out date. Whereas in Cape Town, it's a bit more difficult to do that. Even if you're in a more premium place, you're not just gonna be spending just like that. You know, I actually think it was even more than a thousand. It was more. It was like one thousand five hundred, like fifteen k. Mm. And I just remember swiping. Thank God I had a lot of cash because I don't know how I would have gotten out of that mess if I didn't. And I'm the one who brought my friends there. So I felt like it was my responsibility to pay. Even if I paid me back and also some paid me back a lot. Like, they just didn't have that money in that specific period. Because they, then they thought they're going for a free dinner before we go out clubbing. Anyway, after that we ended up going clubbing with some's like friends and it was really fun and i really enjoyed her first night like she really really enjoyed it and that was the whole point of it all so it was a bad date but it ended well and i think i didn't have to endure it alone i was there with my friend okay so and now i'm gonna move to the pg-13 questions and then each time we play this game i can now go back to the other questions and you know answer more of them pg-13 truth or drink questions number one <laughs> What's your number? Like, I guess the number of people you've had sex with. <laughs> Let me just tell you a funny story. You know, with my ex, I remember he also asked me this. Like, we had this discussion. And, like, when he found out my number, he was just like, those are more than mine. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm just going to drink. I don't want to be judged in the streets of Nairobi. So, I'm going to drink. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Let me fucking drink. <laughs> Moving on, number two. What's the shortest amount of time you've known someone before hooking up? Why are all of these questions about like men and sex? Like I want to answer like deep questions about like life and career and everything. Shortest amount of time I've known someone before hooking up. I would just put it at three hours. Don't judge me. Moving on. Um, now we're going to R rated questions. Then we're gonna now double back to the PG questions. Hey, number one. What's your most embarrassing fantasy? My most embarrassing fantasy. Do I have embarrassing fantasy? Embarrassing, like embarrassing. I'm just gonna drink that one because. I don't feel like I want to even share my fantasies in the first place. Number two, what kind of porn do you search for? God, okay. I hope I hope my mom is not watching this. The, uh, I don't really watch much porn, but if I do search for porn, I'm definitely going to search for lesbian porn or just women because women on women because women on women are beautiful and they're just like you know. I don't want to see like men or like even if i'm into men i don't know i just don't want to see ugly dicks or just i just feel like women to women is more beautiful to watch you know like yeah uh number three what's my worst habit my worst habit i would have to say my worst habit is drinking and biting my nails that's that's the second one biting my nails but i feel like drinking is worse for my body it's actually, if I was a person who never drank alcohol, because I have sisters, three sisters, who none of them drink. My mom doesn't drink. 
like I live in a family of non-drinkers and I've, I see how okay they are with not drinking in their lifestyles even if people around them drink and I wish I had that for myself I wish I had never started because now that I've started it's hard to stop so I would say my worst habit is drinking and biting my nails yeah mm -hmm. name something illegal that you've done and regret regret I feel like I was asked this in the other case but there's nothing I've done. It. Mm -mm. I'm gonna drink to that because the illegal things that I've done, but that I regret. I'm not gonna share. PG thirteen number three. Where is the grossest place you've ever hooked up? I don't know why all of these questions are about hooking up. Honestly, the next time I search. Yeah, I always want to about up. The next time we do this game, I'm gonna look for the questions that are not about hooking up, or at least a few questions for hooking up and a few questions for just life. I thought this was gonna be a bit of a deep video where I, I share about my like my deepest, darkest secrets and stuff, but this is very like anyway. Uh the grossest place I've ever hooked up. I'm not one of those people who hooks up in weird places, so I don't think this one for me. Like I've never been hooked up in a car. I know a lot of people have hooked up in a car. I've never hooked up in a car. I've never hooked up in like a toilet. In a club, I've never done that shit. Like me, I just like being comfortable. So the grossest place. I... No, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. The grossest place. I've hooked up. And I'm guessing hooking up means like going the whole way. I actually gross I don't hook up in gross places guys should I drink should I drink I'm gonna drink because all the gross places that you guys are thinking of I've never actually done that like there's a time we actually asked these questions with like a group of my friends in Cape Town and they thought I would have like such a crazy answer because I guess I'm this free spirit and everything but I just I didn't because I just don't like hooking up first of all Okay, no, I do like hooking up, but I just, by the time I'm hooking up with you, it has to be in a place that I'm comfortable with, not in just, I'm not going to tear off your clothes in the back of like a parking lot in some dingy, no, 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 by the time you've gotten, by the time I've actually gone that far, hey, umejaribu, <laughs> umejaribu, so it's not going to be in a gross place, oh, nah, not for me, so let me just drink, <laughs> let me just drink, mm -mm. But if this one is going in, this is the last class. It's going in. <laughs> Have you ever joined a hookup app or any app associated with risky behavior? For this one, I would say I've joined Tinder and Bumble, but I don't think those are hookup apps. Those are just apps to meet people. So any hookup apps that I've joined, no. I feel like Tinder in Kenya is kind of a hookup app. In SA, in Cape Town, Tinder was not really a hookup app. Tinder was actually just a platform to meet potentials. It wasn't at you that I've gone through a lot of Tinder dates in Cape Town where nothing ever happened. I never saw the guy again after the first date. Oh, we actually became friends, you know? So I've never joined an app where the exclusive mission was to hook up. No. But the two apps that I've joined is Tinder and Bumble. Bumble, you guys know, is so different. I love Bumble. Bumble is a vibe. Bumble is chill. Bumble is everything. Tinder... Cape Town was cool. Tina, Kenya, that's a hookup up. I would rather not. <laughs> wow. Next question. How many sex toys do you own? Am I gonna really release this video honestly? Because I feel like <sighs> this is too much about my life. This is too much about my personal life. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I will see. After this run, I might change the side that I'm getting these questions for. But anyway, how many sex toys do I own? One, which I recently bought. What's the best sex you've ever had? The best sex I've ever had. This one I can gladly answer. The best. The best, best, best. I feel like I have, I have two or three guys who gave me the best I ever had. It's gonna have to be my Australian ex. 
like a full package if you're talking about like the full package you know full package not like one thing was nice everything was nice like him pleasuring me like everything full body everything my australian ex <laughs> and i know he... mm, excuse me have you ever cheated or helped someone cheat yes to both sadly yes to both and i've been cheated on if you also wanted to know that it's a two-way thing in these streets man what's my longest relationship my longest relationship was actually three years was it three, three years or more than three years yeah it was with a nigerian in cape town it was called jabbar jabbar yeah uh, what do your current undergarments look like <laughs> i currently have no undergarments no bra no underwear no nothing so i like to go commando that's the truth and i like i'm all about from the nipple so no no undergarments okay last question and i'm going to end this on such a good note have you ever been to a strip club yes <laughs> i've been to like three or four strip clubs a number of times for each of them <laughs> in cape town the first time i went to a strip club was with my guy friends i was literally the only chick yanni guys i was that cool chick trevor do you remember i think it was trevor's birth yeah it was trevor's birthday <gasps> trevor is one of like my bestest friends from uganda he's now in the uk just living his best life in london and i fucking miss him i know he's supposed to be coming to nairobi this year in december to stay at my place and i don't even have a place anymore so trevor we book an airbnb together <laughs> but yeah i remember we took him to the strip club for his birth strip club for his birthday at mavericks mavericks in cape town that's like one of the best strip clubs if not the best in cape town and i gave him my lap dance like if each of us were paying an amount at the entrance it was like an offer where we get like a burger and fries a drink and a lap dance and then i gave him mine just for his birthday and i remember how happy he was like his smile was like so big then the next time i went to our um strip club was with joanna <laughs> i've actually gone to like three or four strip clubs with joanna i've gone to three strip clubs with joanna probably like five or six times in total of visiting them and it's always a vibe like honestly yeah so yes i've been to strip clubs i feel like i enjoy them more when i'm with my girlfriend as opposed to when i'm with men because then i don't know it's just a different vibe when you the girlfriend and when girls are talking on you and you're old they're like yes girl yes girl yes girl <laughs> so yeah i have been uh cape town and lagos I think on that note I'm going to end this video before now I start revealing too much about my life even if I feel like I've already revealed a lot but yeah thank you so much for watching if you guys have any more suggestions of videos I can do you know about wine because I want to talk more about you know my wines and other quick because this is gonna be like a series truth or sip wine so if you have more truth or dare questions not truth or dare truth or sip questions Put them down in the in the comment section if they're not too invasive actually no i'll still answer them but just don't be don't be rude i'll answer them but just don't be rude or i'll sip <laughs> but anyway yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye